Wondering what's in the sky in September? We have the answer. Throughout the month, Mercury will lie low above the eastern sky, and you may even be able to spot the bright star Regulus just above the horizon. Venus and Jupiter will be visible in the east as well, with an extra bright Saturn in the west. All three of the planets will lie along an invisible line called the ecliptic, which marks the path that the sun follows across the sky during the day. September 7th brings a full moon, as well as a total lunar eclipse that will be visible in Antarctica, Australia, Asia, the Western Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, Europe, the Eastern Atlantic Ocean, and Africa. The full moon will sit close to Saturn after sunset on the 7th, and both will be visible all night. For those with binoculars or a telescope, September mornings offer a rare challenge, five planets at once. Uranus lies between Venus and Saturn, while Neptune floats close to Saturn. On September 10th, the moon reaches perigee, its closest point to the Earth, making it appear slightly larger and brighter. Between September 12th and 13th, keep an eye out as the moon passes by the Pleiades star cluster and the bright orange star Aldebaran. On September 16th and 17th, a waning crescent moon will drift near Jupiter and the twin stars Castor and Pollux in Gemini. Saturn reaches opposition on September 21st, which means it's at its closest and brightest, fully lit up by the sun and visible all night long. The autumn equinox arrives on September 22nd, meaning that day and night will be almost perfectly equal in length. On September 26th and 27th, the moon will move through Scorpius and may briefly occult, or pass in front of, the bright red star in Teres for some viewers. September 28th through 30th wraps up the month with the moon moving past the teapot asterism in Sagittarius near the thickest part of the Milky Way. Now for some news updates. Grand Canyon Conservancy and United Way in Northern Arizona have established dedicated relief funds in response to the devastating wildfires on the North Rim of Grand Canyon. To learn more about how you can help the North Rim rebuild, visit preserve.grandcanyon.org. Grand Canyon Conservancy is proud to introduce astronomer in residence, Laura May Abron. At Lowell, the World Revealed Speaker Series continues with spiders and the discovery of Pluto with arachnid expert Todd Gonzalez and Mother Road trip to the stars with historian Kevin Schindler. World Revealed talks take place in the Lowell Universe Theater at 7 p.m. on Fridays and are included with general admission. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Tyler Richie Yowell, an astronomer here at Lowell Observatory, and this has been the Arizona Night Sky Report, presented in collaboration with Grand Canyon Conservancy. We'll see you next time.